Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find guys where the traction control module fuses are located, you have up to three of them. By the way, three different sizes. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find them. Where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix anything like engines transmission codes fuses bodywork all that stuff why we do all that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video on this channel guys specifically we will be making a video about every single fuse every single relay on that dodge ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your fuel pump fuse goes bad all we have to do find our video watch it for a minute or two replace that fuse you're back on the road so we do that guys to help you as much as we can also we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so let's start on it now so guys, now for the traction control module, which fuses we need to check, we will demonstrate on this generation Dodge Ram right here guys. You have multiple location with fuse boxes, but we need to go ahead and open the hood. Under the hood on the driver's side next to your car battery, you see that box? Okay, you need to remove the cover, you need to open it. You have two notches, press them in, leave that cover, right underneath is the main engine fuse box. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. For the traction control module, three fuses will need to be checked. If you have traction control light on, we have a special video on our channel that will explain why traction control light is on, on Dodge Ram. Now, here the first fuse that we need to check is fuse number six, very important fuse. Then you need to check guys, fuse number 26, which will be that fuse here. And then you go like that, that's 78, 77, 76. That's the third fuse. So this fuse, that fuse, and the one right here. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, see you next time. 